Hey everybody, my name is JC1238 and welcome back to some more Pikmin. In the last episode, uh, we cleared out all the parts that we could get at the Forest of Hope at the moment. Uh, and in this episode, we're going to go land in the Forest Naval and see what we can find there. So, let's go ahead. Um, there's nine parts in this region. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get three today, but I'm not sure if that'll happen. We'll see. All right, so we land on our little landing section. And right off the bat, we can see that it's really dark around here. Uh, but there's a bridge right here, so I'm gonna get some red Pikmin and get them working on that. I think about 40 is good. Yeah, all right, let's take those. And go over here. So there's a one sto two stone walls. Is that a third one over there? Yeah. No, that's not a stone wall. So there's a lot of walls in here. Um, I'm going to get these guys working on this already. Hey, what are you what are you two doing? Don't get the nectar. Come back here. All right. So I'm going to set them over there. Uh, and go back to the base so I can get Pikmin working on another wall. Let's see. I'm going to work on this one right here. So I'm going to take out another 30. And leave these guys here. What are you doing? Go to work. There we go. All right. So I'm going to walk over here for a little bit, you know, look around. And oh, would you look at that? What is this? Yep, it's the blue onion. And now we wait for this one little Pikmin to sprout. Their faces just look amazing, I think. Just just look at it. It is a Pikmin of yet another color. Near this one's cheek is what appears to be a set of gills. This trait suggests to me that this blue type of Pikmin can enter the water without any trouble whatsoever. You say, while the Pikmin is currently in the water, being completely fine. Uh, but yes, um, the blue Pikmin's ability is that they, ha they are able to go in the water without being hurt at all. Um, unlike any other type of Pikmin. So that means that a lot of areas that were previously inaccessible to us, we can now go to. All right, uh, I'm gonna set this guy over there. And I'm gonna start hitting these plants. Because again, I am just being like that. All right. And we got two more, so I'm going to throw them over there. So we already have a pretty good amount of blue Pikmin. Um, we have nine. Oh, eleven. Okay. And we just pick up the rest of these guys. So yeah, this is the last type of Pikmin that's introduced in the game, uh, in this game at least. So today I just want to take the time to, you know, grow the numbers, right? Because they're going to be the ones we have the least of. But we are going to be needing a lot of them for later uh, sections of the game at least. So I want to make sure that I have a pretty good amount of them. Um, just so that we are able to do everything we're supposed to. Um, what are you doing? Yes, thank you. The Pikmin AI in this game is, to put it frankly, just terrible. But, you know, it is what it is. We kind of have to deal with it. So I'm going to get these guys working on this. And our red Pikmin finished up over here, so I'm going to go talk to them. 
I'm gonna go get them and I'm gonna start doing this. Or uh, I'm gonna hit this guy. He's very annoying. Um, the Pikmin don't chase after him, so you have to throw the, your Pikmin onto him. And as you can see, I've only done one hit after throwing all of those. Um, he does stop for a little bit when he's hit, so you do have a little bit of time to react to it. But not very much at all. <sighs> Alright, he's coming back over here. And the worst part is that he has a ship part, so you have to kill him. Come on, don't do this to me. <sighs> there we go. So we got our next ship part. And it's the space float. This float is an absolute necessity for any pilot who lacks skill at swimming in space. All right, Olimar, whatever you say. And there we go. They got 26 on that. So I'm going to put these guys over here and go back to the yellows. Oh, and look, our blues are already bringing back the other one. So we're doing just fine. All right, so I'm gonna go get the yellows that we left here earlier. I mean the reds that we left here earlier. Sorry. Um, and I'm actually gonna get. Uh, I'm actually gonna put these back, and get out some yellows so I can build up the numbers a little bit. And so I can go get the bomb rocks. All right, so I'm gonna get out 30 of these guys. Um, all right. Yeah. Yes, this is a good plan. Okay. So these two are going to be bringing in their ship parts. Uh, I'm actually going to call all these guys with me. There we go. Um, all right. You can take that. I think it's three. Yeah, there we go. So they can take that. Oh, and we got the uh, space float, I believe. I forgot already. But yes, the space float. An excellent swimmer like me has no need for something like this. But my motto is always be prepared. Really. It's just for emergencies. And we have 7 out of 30. So we need 5 more to go to the next region. Uh, making pretty good progress, I think. So I'm going to set these guys to work on this. Um, come back over here so I can get the blues. As soon as they get there. Uh... I'm actually going to swap out the blues and the reds. No, I said the reds. All right, so this is the automatic gear. This thing chugs right along at its own pace. It makes piloting much easier, giving me time to concentrate on the finer points of space travel. Like what? Uh, but yeah, I'm going to set these guys over here and take all my blues. I said blues. Thank you. All right. Well, I guess one blue staying over there. And cutscene again. There's a lot of sh cutscenes uh, because of the ship parts, but let's see what this one says. Automatic gear. It has thin cracks running through it. I try to fill them with dirt. I hope it will be all right. You, don't you just love it when you build a spaceship uh, out of literal dirt? Because I do. It's great. All right, so I'm gonna send this guy over here. Send this guy over here. So they can start working on building up more blues. Ah, close enough. All right. So we got those now. Um, and I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna leave those for now. Um, Let's see, what was I going to do? All right, so we have two ship parts over here. Uh, and those, we need blue. So I'm going to actually wait for the the blues to sprout over here and then go back around. Um, 
We have a few more parts over there, but we have a lot of walls. So I'm gonna actually go check on that group of reds and yellows that I left behind earlier and hope that none of them are dying. Thank goodness, because I was really worried about these enemies over here. All right, so let's split these off, take our reds, and just start beating up these guys. You know, I probably should have gotten more reds uh, in retrospect, but whatever. So yeah, um, these guys, their only attack is basically throwing off the Pikmin and spitting fire, uh, which means that they literally cannot damage the reds, which is pretty good, I think. Um, which means, as long as you just stay here for a little bit, you'll be able to kill all of these uh, in no time. And there we go. There's more of those, but I'm going to leave them for now. Uh, I'm going to take the yellows again. Ooh, I lost a few Pikmin. Didn't I? I, I just heard the sound. Alright, so we lost a few in battle today then. <sighs> That's fine. We've had worse days, so I'm going to take these guys. Um, put about 10 of them. Uh, so we have 10 of them in the end. I'm going to leave these guys here. Hello, little blues. Um, and I'm going to go get these guys. who are just kind of standing here. All right. And one more. And there we go. And as you can see, there's a bridge over there, but I'm not gonna be doing that right now. I'm actually gonna be trying to head over to this ship part. And we have the little bomb rocks over there. So I think we can go over there. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna try to hurry these guys along because they're very slow. Right. Let's see. How did the map say to get there? It said over there and okay. Let's go down. Yes, gu no, guys, guys, stop trying to pick up the neck. Oh, he picked it up all himself. Yeah, so this one guy just stole everyone's nectar, which is, you know, really nice of him. Really. Uh, I'm gonna open this guy's really quick just for being able to return quickly. There we go. And we got our next ship part. Um, we have the number one Ionian jet. Unfortunately, this puts out a slight odoriferous exhaust, but it does propel me to escape velocity in an instant. The stench is a small price to pay for such performance. Um, and we got enough Pikmin to carry it. All right, so we have another ship part over here and a few things over there. Uh, we have some bomb rocks, as well as this little thing that I'm going to get these guys working on. And we have this bridge over here that I'm going to see if I have enough time to run back and build. Overall, this has been a pretty good day, though. Um, we've only lost a few Pikmin. Uh, and we've this is our third ship part so far. So let's see if we can do a little more progress. Uh, I'm going to pluck these guys first. Um, split them up. Take the reds. Get the rest of these guys. And then throw the yellows back. I said throw the yellows, not the reds. One, two, three. There we go. All right. So this appears to be over here. So I'm going to go well down. Oh, we got, okay. This is a new enemy. Uh, these are the sheer wigs, like the sheer groves from the forest of hope, except these guys have wings and can fly. Um, you can kill them very easily though. Just throw a lot of Pikmin at them. 
Uh, come back here. Yeah, I need you. And they're all dead. There we go. Come back. No, come back. Okay. I'm going to ignore these guys for now. You know what? That's fine. Just take it. Um, And we're just going to kill this guy first. Oh, okay. And we got the uh, Ionium Jets in. So let's read that. And the number one Ionium Jet. If this is damage, I will be in dire straits. I will have to run a system check as soon as I can. Uh, three more ship parts and we can go to the next area. This is going pretty fast, I think. All right. Come on. There we go. Uh, I'm going to get as far ahead on this as I can. Let's see. Do I have any Pikmin outside of... The okay, so we have a few over there. We have that one guy walking back to base. Um, but I think we should be fine. The sad thing, though, is that we didn't get to build up many of our Pikmin numbers today. But, you know, we always have the next day for that. I don't know if I'm going to have time to go, but I feel like I should start going back right now instead of waiting here at the wall. Yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not going to risk it. I don't want to lose any more Pikmin today. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is bad. This could be really bad. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get to the blue in time. No, don't trip. Guys, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to leave a Pikmin behind. Ah, uh, I called them. I go, okay. I think I got them all. Oh my god, that was... Ah, uh, just the last minute. I thought I was going to leave them. But let's see if we did bring all of them. I'm pretty sure that was all the Pikmin that we had. As long as the other red made it back in time. But I think that was it. Uh, so that's the end of day four. And... Oh no, I left two Pikmin. It's oh, uh, it's always so brutal to see them getting left behind. Uh, four days since impact. Deep in the cave, I discovered in the forest, I encountered blue Pikmin. These blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks, and they appear to be amphibious, surviving both in water and on land. The wonders of nature never cease to stun me, even in this alien land. Ah, uh, four left behind. Dang, that was pretty bad. But it had to happen eventually, and I guess today was the day. So we sprouted 26 Pikmin, which is not very many. Um, we have nine parts. We got three today. And we're going to get a few more tomorrow. So I think overall, we didn't lose any in battle. We left a few behind. I think it was a good day. So let's save. And that's it for today. Uh, on the next episode, we're going to go back into the Forest Naval and look for the rest of the ship parts that we can get. See you guys then.